Hi everyone, it's Jay with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. Today we'll look after cows, battle monsters, run around the city of the future, collect colorful cubes in a row, and become a superhero. Let's go! First up is a game called Farmville 2, and it is exactly what you think it is. Farming. How quaint! Ratings tell us that the first one is considered to be the best farm game in the world, and the sequel is pretty good too. No point in going into great detail about it though, there are a lot of such farms, and all are very similar to each other. The difference is only in the quality. Here, the quality is quite high, so if you are a fan of mobile farming, then this is for you. By the way, a constant connection to the internet here isn't necessary. Next up we have Kingdom and Dragons. The game genre is action RPG, though generally it's more like a slasher. You just cut through, shoot, or burn crowds of your enemies, fight bosses, and pretty much anyone who behaves badly. You cut, shoot, or burn them depending on whichever one of the three classes of characters you chose to play. Yep, your options are a soldier, an archer, or a magician. How original! This creation of Japanese developers has the typical anime style. Big swords, a pretty girl sorcerer, you get the idea. In the game, there is a construction element. Initially, you start with a poor small village and go about improving it into a full-fledged settlement. Huzzah! The third game is called Runbot, and yes, it is a runner about a robot. It's all done in a futuristic style, and there are big open spaces in combination with good graphics. Impressive! The basics of a runner are here in their original state. The character runs forward, collecting things on the way. It is usually coins, but this time, maybe some batteries? It's hard to tell for sure. During your run, you encounter obstacles which you have to run over, jump, fly, and so on. In between your runs, you can improve your robot. The runner is visually appealing and overall playable. Next up is Cubus, Addictive Puzzler. It is, in fact, a puzzle where you have to bring together three or more one-color cubes in a row to make them disappear. But unlike the majority of such games, this one is three-dimensional. Cubes here pile up in layers, so you don't have to bring together three in a row. You can take two from above and one from below and so on. There are other bonuses too, and all this is done in a freaky style where the game field is located on the back of an elephant or in someone's mouth. The background is also very funny, and in general the game has an atmosphere all its own. Karish 3 The Game is the name of our next subject. It is also a runner, but for some reason it felt more like a platformer. In it you play one of four superheroes, and your main objective certainly is to fight against evil. In your arsenal there are shurikens, freezing bombs, and various other superhero gadgets and special powers. You can play the game alone or in co-op. For the most part, it's pretty fun. Our last game is called Starborn Wanderers. If anyone remembers Space Rangers, this is a little similar to it. You have a spaceship and travel around a big and unknown space filled with different races, tasks, and enemies. How to behave and what to do all depend on the player. You can be on friendly terms with one and send others far away. You can improve your character and ship while collecting minerals and space debris. To put it simply, there are a lot of options. Fights, by the way, are turn by turn in spite of the fact that everything else is in real time. Hey, at least there's a decent plot, so I don't really see any reason why not to enjoy this game. That's all for today. Follow, make comments, put likes, you know the drill. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!